so guys today i am explaining if you get any threat intelligence in which you get multiple artifacts like you get thousands of hashes and you want the status of that hash on specific antivirus solution that it will detect the hash or it will not detect the hash so how you can automate this process and get the specific result i am going to use the virus total platform for this like this this hash will detect 54 antivirus solution will detect this hash out of 71 antivirus solutions which are listed here so i am using a github program for this github hash unit so simply go to this link and go to the code section and normally install the uh, this program by apt install command uh, or either you can download the zip after downloading this uh, go to the specific folder in which you download this program you have to do two things once you have put a api key in the munin.inn file so you can create an account on virus total and go to the api key section just copy the api key and go to this program and open this munin.inn file and paste the api key here without any spaces in vt public api key and just save the file and close it after this you can open the munin-demo.txt file this is the file where you can provide the hashes which you want to check through this program so i have i am putting three hashes here and save this file and then close it after these two things are done you go to go to this program and going to the get starting get started section here is the get started section after this copy this command and go to your terminal now go to the specific folder and directory in which this in which this program exists now you can see these files now paste this command and run this command after running it will download some specific libraries which are required in this program after this just in third step you can uh, put the api key uh, it will replace dot mine and munin dot inn file into my dot inn we do not or change the name of that file so we can change the command so after this i am i am changing this to munin because in our folder this is the file in which api key is provided okay so after this run this command and it will process three lines because we are providing three hashes so just wait a little bit second it will so first hash is malicious second hash is clean so in the 60 zero controls will detect this out of 67 controls and third hash is also malicious 59 control detected this hash out of 69 59 so after the program completed it will create a vt hash db dot json file in which all the details are mentioned and also a csv file okay so i am using a json converter you can also use this csv file i'm i'm just refresh this program going to the chosen file folder just drag and drop this file it will detect this and convert this json file into csv and now download the csv <coughs> 
so you here you get the result in this form so i only want earned a kaspersky result so i am using sha256 so i am deleting the rest of the columns and the i am deleting the rest of the columns so there are different vendors like microsoft detect this trojan or not kaspersky like mcafi cloud strike trend micro and many other so we can just remove this column also and here is our kaspersky column and we can also delete the rest of the other column simply now we can see these three hashes on the kaspersky if you uh, if you use a filter uh, you will get the all the clean hashes which you have to put in your reference set for further detection maybe it's a zero day attack which no any antivirus solution is still detecting so if you want to check the domains and ips through this program so you can provide the domains and ips through this file so and after this you go to the host section here is a host section here just copy this command go to your terminal and just paste this command uh, so non resolve uh, hyphen hyphen non resolve do check the domain can resolve or not and the hyphen hyphen download will do download the specific uh, domain or ip which you have provided in the file i'm just removing this because i do not want so now i am changing the name of this file because we have the name of this file is domain and just run this so here is our first domain cd and this called app.com is checking this domain after the program completed it will also create a vt hash vt host or dbgsn file and a csv file in which you get the result like this is your domain this is your domain and the result of this domain it is malicious or it is clean the rating of this domain is also available here so here is a walk through of this simple program which is very useful to automate if you get thousands of hashes in any threat intelligence or any attack vector so this program is also good if you are if you want to use any other platform so you can put the api key of that platform like malware share like walla api key malware bazaar or any other platform it is also using misp uh, which is a great platform for threat intelligence you can see this and hash lookup also so um, there is another thing in this program um, you can also use like red to hunt fusion for virus total that crunch if you want to create that you can also use this uh, this is the msp threat sharing platform many threat intelligence or security controls want a json and file to uh, uh, they require a json file in which you can share the iocs so you can provide this also so hope you guys like this uh, and this is enough for this program thank you